In this video, we'll be doing a short demonstration on ShipSelect 2.0, an SAP certified application built by Dickinson and Associates. ShipSelect is a small parcel shipping application built on the SAP Cloud platform, leveraging the latest Fiori design features for a rich user experience. ShipSelect links directly to your backend SAP ERP system. Data is automatically mapped from SAP into ShipSelect, so there is no redundant data entry. There is also no middleware required. The data is sent directly to the carrier using their web APIs. There is no need to maintain any data on-premise such as tracking number ranges, label formats, etc. As soon as the label is generated, the carrier has that data in their system in real time. In turn, tracking numbers and shipping costs are stored back to the ERP system for tracking and billing. Upon logging into ShipSelect, you land directly into the launch page. From here you can go into Settings Management, where you can maintain all of the settings for the application. For example, you can set up shipping points, maintain address data, services, you can connect printers and scales, among other things. The second tile will lead you to the reports. From there, you can access some historical data and run some analytics on your shipping habits. However, our focus today will be on the main shipping application, which you can access through this tile on the right. Immediately upon entering, ShipSelect will ask which shipping station you're using. A shipping station is the location in the warehouse or distribution center where the package is being processed. Think of cashier lanes at a supermarket. Each shipping station is paired with a label printer for shipping labels and a document printer for carrier documents. For the purposes of this demonstration, we can choose the first station, which is assigned to a PDF printer. If at any point you need to change your shipping station, you can do that by clicking on the Station button on the bottom right of the screen. Next, you will enter the package number in the input field. If your backend system is SAP ECC or SAP S4 HANA, this would be your handling unit number. You can enter the number manually, or if your station is connected with a scanner, that number can be scanned from a barcode. Once you hit enter, ShipSelect retrieves all of the relevant information from the backend SAP system. You can see, for example, the delivery number that this handling unit belongs to. On the upper right side, you can see this package will be shipped via FedEx ground and that the shipping costs will be charged back to the shipper. All of this information is automatically mapped using business rules that can be configured in the settings management. For example, you can map the carrier and services from SAP delivery document fields such as route or shipping condition. Now, if you want to change any of this information, you can simply hit the edit button located on the bottom right of the screen. Once in edit mode, you can see that you can now change the values on the screen. You can change the carrier, for example, or the service used. On the button left of the screen, you can modify the package details such as dimensions, weight, or volume. Again, these are mapped directly from the SAP Material Master by default. If you click over to the Additional Services tab, you can see special delivery options like Saturday Delivery, or signature required. Although only three options show by default, ShipSelect supports dozens of other special service options from UPS or FedEx, etc. The reference tab allows you to include reference fields that not only print on the shipping label, but are also included in the invoice sent by the carrier. Again, these fields can also be automatically mapped from SAP. For example, you can map them to the customer PO number or sales order number. Finally, the Documents tab allows you to print certain carrier-compliant documents other than the standard shipping label. If you move over the, to the right of the screen, in this area, we can edit address details for all of the parties involved in the shipment, such as the recipient, the shipper, third party used for billing, or the return address. If everything looks good, you can go ahead and ship the package by clicking on the Ship button. At this point, all the data is transferred to the carrier, in this case FedEx, 
in real time. For ease of demonstration, we've printed the label to the screen by using the PDF printer. If you zoom in, you can see the label details, such as the reference fields we entered earlier. If you go back to the Ship Select tab, you can see that the tracking number has been captured on the screen. If you flip over the Charges tab, you can then see the charge detail for this package. Both the shipping charge and the tracking number are also stored back to the SAP system. That concludes the basic shipping functionality of the application. However, if you realize you've made a mistake, you can easily void the package as well by clicking the Void button. As you can see here, the tracking number has been removed, indicating that this package is ready to ship again. Before we wrap up, it's worth highlighting a couple more features of the application. The first one is the error handling capabilities. Any errors returned from the carrier can be easily handled through the application. For example, let's say you're trying to ship a package through FedEx, but for some reason the phone number is not maintained in the customer address. FedEx does not let you ship packages without a recipient phone number, so when you try to ship this package, FedEx returns an error saying that the phone number is missing. Now, if you're a warehouse shipping clerk, you have two options. You can either try to resolve the error uh, yourself by adding the phone number. Um, however, if you don't know the phone number for this customer, you can also use the help feature to send a message to someone who does. When I click on the help button and the pop-up appears where I can enter some information about the error I'm receiving, I can set the error type as well as the severity. I can also enter a description of the error. After you hit Open Email Editor, an outbound email message automatically appears with some details. The recipient of this message can be configured to be a specific person in your organization or your generic help desk email. The last feature we'll be showing today is the rate shopping. Ship Select allows for quick comparison between carrier and services. That way you can find out what the options are for shipping your package to your customer. In order to do this, you simply click on the Shop Rates button on the bottom right of the screen. Ship Select will then make a call in real time to both carriers and retrieve not only the rates, but also the transit times or delivery dates for all services available for that origin destination pair. As you can see, FedEx Ground is our cheapest option here. If we click on that option, it'll update our service to FedEx Ground.